Hi friends, welcome back to our Tesla weekly analysis. As usual, let's go to the charts then the news. Last week I mentioned that anything below this uh, support line here is a good entry because there is a wedging over here. And after the wedge, there was a little bit of down movement. And I told you guys that after a wedge, usually there's a small retracement before it goes back up. Just like back it happened over here, a wedging up, retracement and went back up. And it happened here too. This took like one month of wedging before it retraced down to go back up. So Tesla somehow seems to have this uh, pattern very often. So I was mentioning that I did not see any news coming up that would cause a surge like this. And Tesla, lo and behold, announced a 5 to 1 stock split. I did a stock split video on last week, Wednesday, the, the day where they announced the stock split. Uh, I'll link the video up here and down below. I wasn't expecting the stock split because Elon said that they were actually discussed during a shareholders meeting, which is on September 22nd, but Christmas came early. So the surge happened and the stock price stopped over here as predicted. The reason why is that when you draw a horizontal line across like that, I'm going to change this line to a uh, blue line. You can see that this is a very, very nice uh, resistance point where I expect the stock to stop over here. So what do we need to see to have the stock like permanently above this blue line is we need a full candle up here. We need a full candle above this blue line somewhere in the future to confirm the move upwards else the stock is going to trend sideways at least until 22nd of September which is the shareholders meeting day and also the battery investor day so I hope the charts have given you a little bit more clarity uh, right now I think the stock is a little bit high for the short term but it is still cheap for the long term so let's say if you are a long term investor to me just always just dollar cost average just you don't really care about the price purely because there is nobody in the world that can consistently time the market so your goal is to build shares rather than try to predict price movement and as more you grow the better it is let's say you bought at 1004 and you got lucky and went up to 1006 it's just a few percentage price difference on the on the long term it doesn't make a lot of difference but the amount of shares give you the long-term advantage rather than trying to time the market if you get what i'm trying to say so anyway i hope i've given you clarity let's go on to the news tesla china is on the hiring spree i can clearly see a huge demand in china hiring locations is all over china china has one of the highest purchasing powers and a growing population of middle class these people they love foreign brands like tesla because it is a sign of prestige and success so tesla will, very, will do very well in china Another news on the lack of supply. So Elon tweeted that the Tesla team is working hard on increasing uh, the power wall production. The same problem as always, the lack of batteries. Too much demand. Battery day is coming, I really cannot wait. I saw an interesting tweet and I thought it would be good to bring this up. We invest in Tesla mainly because of Elon Musk. So here's the tweet. So Kelvin is this guy that worked for NASA for 24 years and he said this about Elon. He's brilliant. He's involved in just about everything. He understands everything. If he asks you a question, you learn to answer quickly and not go and give him like a gut reaction. What does this mean? It means like don't throw him a smoke bomb. Elon can detect it. He is smart enough to detect your smoke bomb. He wants answers and that gets down to fundamental laws of physics. The one thing he understands really well is the physics of rockets. And he goes on talking about uh, how fast is he and how fast he can calculate everything in real time. Lastly, he mentions that Elon will outmaneuver you, outthink you and out-execute you. So what's the message I want to bring across? Personally, betting against him is like betting against humanity. Some may not like him, like his character, but betting against him is like pure stupidity because you cannot like separate their emotions from the facts. With regards to Tesla on the hiring spree here in Singapore, so Hyundai Motors to take electric cars production in Singapore. So production will be roughly about 30,000 cars a year and 6,000 will be sold locally uh, and the factory will be up and running by year 2022. I really do hope Tesla come to Singapore and set up a factory other than setting up here just as a headquarters only. It's better for Tesla to set up a factory here for tax reasons and quality control. There's a big reason why many big companies uh, set up headquarters here in Southeast Asia. Uh, we have companies like Rolls-Royce, uh, Dyson and many other big brands that really need high quality production. Also being, one, also, being one of the biggest shipping port by volume in the world, the supply chain also becomes really easy. So though the government policies here on carbon tax, also known as road tax, it's stupid with a bunch of highest paid donkeys setting up the numbers. But I think building cars here can really help Tesla generate good profits using uh, Singapore as a hub. 
for production and distribution. Concluding this video, if you ask me, is it too late to buy, which is something I get as a question all the time after my videos, my answer is always the same. So the most important question you need to ask yourself is where do you see Tesla in five to 10 years? And if you can answer that question, you will know what to do right now. So anyway, uh, as always, invest safe.